and it is six o'clock and we're gonna get started. As we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose, any easy seat that feels good for you, may you find your seat. I am gonna come into a half lotus as we are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down our bodies here today. As we are planting and rooting here. Ensuring that our spinal cords are nice and elongated here, meaning we are not sunken. We have control of our bodies, creating extra space in our bellies for baby. A lot of times when we sink our backs down, we squish baby. So keeping that back nice and elongated here creates extra space. Ensuring that our shoulders are relaxed downward away from our ears. As we take a nice breath in, exhale. As we are using the breath to relax and soothe the body here today. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. As we gaze our eyes downward or close our eyes. As we hang out in silent meditation for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we flow our hands above our heads, we're gonna flow into a seated salute. Fingertips reaches up towards the heavens. Shoulder blades flows upwards towards the ears, allowing that spinal cord to feel nice and elongated here. As we breathe our palms together, we are in that salute. Interlacing our fingers with our pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Heart chakras open, chin is slightly up. As we allow our arms to flow slightly towards the back of the room, building this slight back bend here. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into center. As we breathe our palms down their heart center, come into prayer, bringing our palms out to the side, flowing back to our salute, filling the circular rotations here. Exhaling back to prayer, flowing back to our salute. Breathe in, exhale. As we flow our fingertips downward towards our shoulders, and we're gonna roll our shoulders towards the back, lifting our shoulders up towards our ears and rotating them towards the back. Noticing how this feels in the body. Three breaths. Two breaths. As we find our pause, we're gonna rotate our shoulders towards the front, working on the upper parts of our bodies here. Two more breaths. As we find our pulse, bringing our palms outward towards the side, we can have our palms upwards or downward, whatever feels good for you. As we rotate our arms towards the front, doing a couple of shoulder rolls or arm rolls, going as small or as big as we choose. Two more breaths. Finding pulse. We're gonna rotate our arms in the opposite direction. And we may feel that our arms are starting to burn. This just goes to show a little movement can have a big impact on our bodies. Two more breaths. We're gonna find that pause as we breathe our arms up to our salute. Interlacing our palms together, pointed finger points up towards the heaven. Heart chakras open, chin up. Arms flow towards the back. This is a slight back bend. It's also a counter pose. It relaxes and soothes the upper parts of our bodies. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale into our salute, palms above our head. As we breathe down to our prayer, relaxing the body. As we flow onto our hands and our knees, coming into a tabletop pose. Ensuring that our knees are hip distance apart. As we drop down to our cow. Exhale to cat. 
flowing back to our cow. Exhale to cat. Finding our paws at table. We're just gonna hang out here for a couple of breaths. And maybe we can rock our body slightly forward and rock our body slightly towards the back. Now, when we're shifting our weight forward, we're simply applying a little bit of weight to the front parts of our bodies here. If you can feel that, it's kind of like doing a small baby push up here. As we come back towards the back, shifting our weight back forward. And now this is a labor prep pose here. A lot of times when moms are in labor, they may find themselves on their hands and their knees, rocking forward, rocking backwards to help with pain, to help make the labor a little bit more bearable. As we come back, shifting towards the back, exhaling forward, we're gonna apply a little bit more weight to the fronts of our bodies, just building strength here in our upper parts, maybe doing a baby push up if we're able, yes. As we flow back, bringing our butt outs towards our heels of our feet, we're gonna come into a wide-legged child's pose. That chakra comes downward towards the earth. Our third eye chakra, our forehead connects to the earth. As we relax here in this wide-legged child's pose, shoulder blades melt forward, eyes are closed or gaze down. As we take a nice breath in, exhale. As we relax here in this pose for five natural breaths, Three more breaths. With our arms extended in front of us, palms are flat on the earth. We're going to spinal wave our bodies out of this pose here. Spinal waving, using the palms to push the torso forward and waving the buttocks towards the heels. Yes, feeling that spinal wave in the spinal cord. Noticing how this feels. Three more breaths. Wave in the body at the hips, at the lumbar spine. Just feeling that body wave. Yes, feeling that weight. Yes. So wave into the back. Yes. And then waving forward. Yes, feeling that wave. Pushing the body towards the buttocks. Yes, there you go. Now that looks nice. Yes, feeling that wave in the whole spine. Two more breaths as we get used to this pose. <sighs> As we find our paws at center, bringing our knees together, we are back in that table pose. Palms are flat on the earth. We're gonna drop back down to that cow. Our cow pose works the number of parts of our bodies. Exhale into our cat. Chin comes towards the clavicle. Exhaling back to our table. As we relax here just for a couple breaths, we're gonna cross our feet at our ankles and we're gonna come to a seated pose just for a second. <sighs> hanging out here in this pose. And we're gonna slightly relax our spinal cords. We're gonna take our left hand towards our right knee with our right hand slightly behind our backs. And we're gonna slightly gaze over that right shoulder. We're gonna come into a small seated twist. Keeping in mind that when we're pregnant and have big bellies, we don't wanna come into a deep twist. So coming into a subtle twist or whatever twist feels good for you and your body. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling our bodies back to center. Noticing how this feels as we connect our right hand to our left knee, placing our left hand slightly behind our backs as we gaze over that left shoulder, coming into a slight spinal twist. Ensuring we're not over twisting the body. Gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center. Relaxing our palms on our laps. We're gonna gaze our eyes down and close our eyes. Taking a moment to simply manifest going inward. 
and noticing how we feel right here, right now, in our present moment. Simply being aware without judgment. As we allow our palms to connect to the earth, placing our palms on the yoga mat, as we are tuning in to our environment, we are connecting, we are planting with the earth, simply being aware, simply noticing what is going on right here in our environment. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Two more breaths. As we flow our hands to our bellies, placing our hands on our bellies, one on the top, one on the bottom, shoulders are relaxed, downward away from the ears, spinal cords are nice and long here. As our eyes are gazed down or closed, we are taking a moment to go inward and focus on baby. Maybe we're pregnant, maybe we're not, maybe we're manifesting baby. Maybe we're just taking this class to relax and soothe. Whatever it may be, maybe place our palms on our tummies and go in, noticing how we feel. If we're pregnant, focusing on baby and showing the baby a little love. Four more breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, we're gonna flow back into that salute, reaching our palms upwards towards the heavens, chin is up. And exhale into prayer. As we flow our legs into a down position, we're gonna come into a diamond or a butterfly, bringing our feet together. This is a nice deep hip opener here. We're working on our hip flexors. When we come into this position, we create space for baby here. In our diamond, our feet are further away from our bodies here. In our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies. So taking a moment to notice the difference between the two. They look very similar, except the diamond has the feet further away. So doing what feels best for your body. As we connect our hands to our feet and we're gonna slightly hinge at the hips just a little, allowing that torso to come slightly downward towards the feet. Noticing that when we hinge at the hips, we go deeper into that hip flexor here. This butterfly or diamond is a nice position and hinging at the hips and maybe allowing that head to relax downward towards the feet. If we're able, only going down as much as the body comfortably allows you to go. With the eyes gazed down or closed, allowing the hip muscles, the hip flexors to simply relax as much as possible. We're gonna hang out here for four more breaths. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward. Feeling the body completely relaxed here. Two more breaths. Using our hands to push our torso away from our thighs, lifting our head up, coming back into that diamond or that butterfly pose. Checking in with the body as we come into a wide-legged forward fold, bringing our legs outward towards the side here. And you may feel this in your inner thighs and behind your legs and your hamstrings. So this is a nice, deep stretch. And we're relaxing here with our toes pointing up towards the heavens. We are in our dorsiflex, noticing how that feels. As we plan to flex our toes, pointing our toes downward towards the earth. I call this our ballerina's foot, feeling that arch in our feet. Noticing how that feels as we dorsally flex those toes back up towards the heavens. Just noticing how this feels. We're showing our ankles and our feet a little love. Sometimes when people get pregnant, they may get swell, swollen feet, get a little bit of edema in their feet. So we're just gonna do a couple of rotations here. Going back down to that plantar flex, we wanna feel the rotations here in the lower parts of our bodies. So going into that plantar flex, toes go down. Exhaling back up to the dorsiflex, toes go upwards. 
as we bring our hands to the fronts of our yoga mats, palms are flat on the earth. And we're gonna slightly walk our hands forward, torso comes closer to the earth. Just a little, only going down as much as we comfortably can. And so, noticing how when we hinge forward, we can feel it in our inner thigh. Yes, we are preparing our bodies for labor here. We are just prepping our bodies, building strength. With our eyes gazed down or closed, we're gonna hold this pose, three more breaths. Hmm. Allowing that head to melt down as much as you comfortably can. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, we're gonna lift our bodies up, relaxing the body as we take our right hand, connect our right hand towards our right toes, allowing our bodies to lean towards that right thigh. We are in our revolved stretch here. Feeling that stretch, and if we choose, we can take this left arm and reach it above our head, gazing up at our left arm. And if we're able, let's take this right hand, place it palms up in the air. Back of the hand is flat on the earth, yes. And we're gonna reach this left hand and connect to our right toes if we're able. Feeling that stretch. Allowing that torso to come down towards the earth if we're able. Only going, only going as much as your body allows you to comfortably go. We're going to hold the pose that we're in for three more breaths. We are stretching and lengthening here. Two more breaths. Walking the hands back to center, coming out of that pose, walking the hands to center. We are back in that wide legged final cord is nice and long, heart chakras open, placing our palms on our tummies here. Taking a moment to notice how we feel. Do we feel okay in our bodies? We simply want to check in to ensure that we're not overdoing it, overworking, or overstretching here today. How does baby feel within our tummies? Is everything okay? We're just checking in. If we need a little rest, May we find our bodies in a fetal pose, simply resting on our side or coming into a wide-legged child's pose. However, if we want to continue to flow, may we take our left hand, connecting our left hand to our left toes, allowing that torso to come over that left leg, that left thigh, we are in our revolve stretch. And noticing how this feels here. And if all feels well, we can take this right arm, breathe it up in the air, and flowing that arm over the head, connecting the right hands to the left toes. Yes, placing this hand on the earth, noticing how this feels. And we are simply stretching and soothing, and we're just working the body, relaxing, going outward. Taking nice, subtle breaths here as we hang out here for three more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center. Checking in with self, seeing how we feel. Maybe we can do a couple of shoulder rolls towards the back. Just checking in. As we find our pause, we're gonna rotate our shoulders forward. Mm. Finding pause, we're gonna connect our right hand to our right ankle and our left hand to our left ankle. And we're gonna slightly gaze forward here. Yes, and maybe pulse it up and down if you choose. Pulsing is an option. We're gonna hang out here and hold this pose for three more breaths. Two more breaths. Using our hands to walk our bodies up, coming back to that wide-legged forward fold or wide-legged staff pose here. Yes, we're gonna use our hands to bring our legs inward if we're able, and now we are in a staff pose. If we have big bellies, we're gonna separate our legs just a little, if we have big bellies. And we're gonna slightly hinge at the hips just a little, just a little. 
Notice how this feels. If we're able, we can come into that complete forward fold. If we're able, feel in the body stretch and lengthen here. We're gonna hold this pose, three breaths. Two more breaths. Mm. Exhaling out, coming to that half. As we flow back to our staff pose, legs are parallel side by side. With our toes pointing up towards the heavens, we are in that dorsi flex. Simply just relaxing the body here. Noticing how the staff pose feels within the body. As we plan to flex our toes downward towards the earth, we're once again working on the ankles, the lower parts of our bodies. And again, these flexes are good for people who have edema, swelling in their feet, their ankles. We're just keeping that rotation flowing. Exhaling back up to plantar flex. I'm sorry, to dorsi flex. Toes up in the air. Flowing back down to plantar. And maybe we can do a couple rotations of plantar dorsi flex to our natural breath. Hmm. Two more breaths. And just a side note, this dorsi plantar flex is also good for people who have flat feet. When we do that plantar flex, we are creating that arch at the bottom of the foot. Lowing back to that dorsi, relaxing the body here. As we cross our feet at our ankles, we're gonna come back to a tabletop position. Palms are flat on the earth, knees are hip distance apart, and we're gonna breathe that Left leg towards the back here. We're going to work on that sunbird pose here. Both palms are flat on the earth. This is a balancing pose. And we can hang out here and be in our sunbird if we choose. Or we can come into that full sunbird by extending that right arm forward. Yes. As we are gazed forward. We're going to hang out here and simply just build balance and strength with three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to table. We're gonna drop the body down to cow. Noticing how this cow pose feels in the lumbar back, the lower spine. Exhaling to cat. Lower back to our table. As we bring that right leg towards the back, feeling that stretch, both palms are flat on the earth. And if we choose, we can extend that left arm forward, coming up to that full sunburn. As we are gazed forward, we are building strength and balancing here. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to table, dropping the body down to cow. Exhaling to cat. Flowing back to our table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, we're gonna gaze at our feet. Maybe we're in a wide-legged down dog if we have big bellies. Simply holding here for a couple breaths, building strength. <clears throat> As we shift our body slightly forward, coming into that high plank, dropping down to our knees if that's best for us. We are in that high plank just for a couple more breaths. Exhale back, down dog. Gazing at the feet. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet, left and right. Noticing how this feels in the hips. Finding that pause. We're gonna walk our feet towards our hands. Coming into a complete forward fold. Maybe we're kind of wide-legged, creating that stance here. If we have big bellies, maybe we can flow into a half forward fold. Sometimes when we're higher in our months, coming into a, a complete forward fold can cause dizziness. So complete forward fold or half, whatever feels best for you. And we're gonna relax and soothe here. This is a full body stretch, allowing that head to relax down if we're in a complete forward. Going inward for four more breaths. Hmm. Two more breaths. Hmm. Exhale into half forward fold if you are not already there. 
slightly gazing forward. Coming back to that complete forward fold. Flow into our half forward fold. As we come up to our mountain pose, our Tadasana, standing nice and tall, palms are at our side. Our feet are planted within the earth. As we are rooting, as we are grounding here. Checking in, noticing how we feel, maybe placing our palms on our tummies, shoulders melted, relaxed downward away from the ears. We are simply checking in with body. We are simply checking in with baby. All right, chakras, open chin is slightly up. Two more breaths. Flowing our palms back at our side. We are back in that Tadasana mountain pose. As we breathe through that standing salute, reaching the palms above the head. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Exhale into prayer, breathing our palms at heart center. Shoulders relaxed away from the ears. As we slightly, just bringing our feet slightly apart, we wanna create that stance here. As we come on down to that chair pose, we are gonna come on down to that chair pose and relax that body here. So we are here in a chair. And this chair pose is built in strength and is also working our pelvic floor here. As we are building strength to the lower parts of our bodies. We can have our palms at heart center or we can come into that extended chair. Whatever feels best for you. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Coming out of pose, coming out of the pose whenever you need to. Breathing our palms at heart center, chair pose. Exhale into half forward fold, straightening out those legs, slightly gazing forward, half forward fold. Allowing the body to relax and soothe here. Take your natural breaths. Two more breaths. <sighs> Exhale, bending our knees, slowing back into that chair pose. We are in our prayer hands. Breathing our palms in front of us, coming into that extended chair. Two more breaths. Exhale into prayer. Hanging out here as we come on down to our yogi squat. Allowing the buttocks to come downward towards the feet. We are in that yogi squat here. Yes. Relaxing and soothing the body. Palms are at heart center if, if that feels good for us. <sighs> of course, the yogi squat is also a labor prep pose. Yogi squat prepares the body and the mind for labor. As we are taking nice, subtle breaths here. And if we choose, only if we choose for balance, we can breathe our palms above our heads, noticing how this feels. Chin is slightly up, heart chakra is open. This is just an option. Listening to your body, if anyone feels dizzy, please stay in yogi squats. We'll come into a seated pose if you feel dizzy. As we exhale our palms at heart center here, relaxing that body. We are prepping the body. Getting ready for labor. Flowing back to that salute, palms above the head, feeling the movements here, building strength, Build in balance. Exhale down to prayer. Relaxing that body. We're gonna just work our bodies just a little more, using our muscles, and we're gonna straighten our bodies back up to that table, I'm sorry, to that chair pose. Just lifting that body up. We are in that prayer pose, prayer hands. Noticing how our bodies are getting nice and strong here. And we're going to flow out coming into that Tadasana, bringing our palms at our side, standing nice and tall and strong. Our feet are rooted and planted into the earth. We are relaxing and soothing here. As we may pedal our feet from left to right, just checking in, noticing how we feel. <sighs> Taking a nice deep breath in as we find pause. Exhale. 
Relax in that body, breathing our palms to our bellies. Relax in the palms on the belly, going inward, checking in. Shoulders relax downward away from the ears as we allow our heart rate to regulate. Feeling our bodies relax and soothe here. Two more breaths. As we widen our legs, we're gonna to come to that wide legged dasana here. Just widening our legs with our feet pointing outward towards the edges of the yoga mat. As we drop down our knees, going into that goddess stance. Our goddess stance is another labor prep pose here. Noticing how it works the lower parts of the body and we are building strength to that pelvic floor. Goddess stance as we flow our palms above, our heads coming into that salute. Exhale into prayer. Two more breaths. Holding this position, straightening our legs, we're gonna come into that standing star. Legs are wide apart, palms are off towards the side. Heart chakras open, chin is up. We are in that standing star, feeling nice and strong, feeling powerful, feeling awakened. We are in our star because we are a star. We shine bright, we are high. We are ascending, we are growing. Two more breaths. Exhaling back down to that goddess, bending those knees downward, working the lower parts of our bodies here. Feeling that goddess stance, we are in that cactus hands. As we flow to our salute, chin up. Exhale to prayer. Two more breaths. Going to the goddess, cactus hands. Exhale to that star, straightening those legs, palms out towards the side, allowing the body to relax and soothe here. Heart chakras open, chin is up, two breaths. Mm -hmm. Exhale back down to that goddess stance here, bend the nose, knees. We are in our cactus hands. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale to a wide-legged half forward fold, straightening out those legs, slightly gazing forward. We are in that half forward fold. Noticing how this feels behind our legs and our hamstrings. We are slightly gazed forward. Exhale down to a complete forward fold if we're able, allowing that head to completely relax downward. Feeling this full body stretch, allowing that head to simply just dangle and relax. Heartbeat is regulating. Yes, soothing, going inward. And if we choose, we can connect our hands to our ankles, right hand to right ankle, left hand to left ankle, if we choose. Hmm. Noticing how this feels within the body. Flowing into the half forward fold whenever you feel you need to. Two more breaths. Exhale and back down to that complete forward fold. Walking our hands forward, bringing our legs together, down dog. As we flow into our dolphin pose, coming on to our forearms, buttocks is in the air, we are in that dolphin pose. Head relaxes downward, gazing back at our feet. Maybe walking our feet closer to our torso, noticing how that buttocks comes higher in the air. We are in that dolphin pose, allowing that body to relax and soothe here. This dolphin pose prepares the body for headstand. If we are getting dizzy in this pose, we are in our higher months, we are going to drop down to a wide naked puppy pose. Dropping down to that puppy pose if you must. Otherwise, we're gonna hang out here in this dolphin. Four more breaths. Yes, pulsing up and down on your tippy toes. I see you already doing it. Pulsing up and down prepares that body for headstand. We're gonna hang out here, three more breaths. Two more breaths. As we drop down to our knees, coming into a wide-legged puppy pose, dropping down to the knees, legs are slightly apart, buttocks is high in the air, heart chakra comes downward towards the earth, 
Third eye chakra, the forehead connects to the earth. Wide legged puppy pose, relaxing and soothing. Allowing those shoulder blades to melt forward, allowing that torso to melt into the earth. Taking nice, subtle breaths here. Noticing how this puppy pose feels in our number spine. A lot of times when we get pregnant and get bigger in our months, the number, the lower parts of the back may start to feel uncomfortable. Well, this puppy pose is a nice, relaxing pose that helps with that number pain. Five more breaths. Maybe bringing our palms up together above our heads and flowing into a puppy pose prayer hands. Breathing those palms above the head. Yes, noticing how this prayer hands feel within the body as our eyes are gazed down or closed and we are going and we're soothing and relaxing. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, extending those arms back in front of us, palms are flat on the earth as we spine a wave, our bodies out of this pose, using our palms to push that torso forward and using our palms to push that buttocks towards our heels, feeling that body wave, moving the body at the hips like it's a dance, using the tummy to help that body wave and feel the rhythm of the wave. Yes, three more breaths. Two more breaths. Soothing and relaxing that body here. As we find that pause, we're gonna come into our tabletop position, knees or hip distance apart, dropping that body down to our cow. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to our table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. As we walk our right foot towards our right hand, we are in that runner's lunge. Maybe our bodies are slightly off to the side if we have big bellies here. As we straighten that front leg, coming into a pyramid, straightening that front leg, allowing that head to relax down, that torso relaxes over that thigh. We are relaxing and soothing. Pyramid. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, flowing back to that runner's lunge, bending that front knee. As we drop that left knee downward towards the earth, we are in that low lunge, lifting that torso away from the thighs, arms flows above the head, slightly gazing up at the heavens if that feels good for you. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, framing that front foot. Taking that knee off the earth, we are back in that runner's lunge. Exhale, straightening that knee, we are back in that pyramid, allowing that head to relax down. Flow into that runner's lunge, bending that knee. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. As we walk our dog, we're gonna pedal our feet left and right. And finding that pause, we're going to breathe the left foot towards the left hand, runner's lunge, opposite side. Feeling this movement here. As we straighten that leg, flowing into that pyramid, straightening that front leg, torso relaxes over that thigh, head melts down. Two more breaths. Exhale back to that runner's lunge, bending that front knee. As we drop that right leg down, coming into that low lunge, lifting our torso away from our thigh. 
Forms close up in the air. Chin is up, gazing at the heavens if you choose. Low lunge stretch, three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale forward, framing that front foot. Taking that knee off the earth, we are back in that runner's lunge. Straightening that leg, flowing back into that parapet. Head relaxes down. Mm. Exhale, body relaxes. Two more breaths. As we flow back to that runner's lunge, bending that front knee. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Flow into our dolphin, coming onto our forearms if we're able. Gazing at our feet. Two more breaths. Dropping down to our knees as we flow into a wide legged child's pose. Legs are nice and wide legged, torso relaxes between the thighs. Our forehead, third eye chakra connects to the earth. As our shoulder blades melt forward, our bodies relax and smooth. As we are taking nice, subtle breaths. And may we hang out here in silent meditation for five natural breaths. Three more breaths. With our arms extended in front of us, palms are flat on the earth. We're gonna spine away our bodies out of this pose, feeling that torso come forward, relaxing the buttocks towards the heels. Spine away in the body. Two more breaths. Finding our pose at table. And we're gonna come on to our side. And we're gonna flow into our fetal pose. Relaxing the body. We can put a long pillow between our thighs if we choose. We can put a pillow underneath our neck if that feels good for us. As we are in our fetal position, our fetal pose, relaxing and soothing like the fetus within the body. Maybe our eyes are closed or gaze down as we feel in our bodies settling and relaxing, winding down from our session here today. As we use the next couple of breaths to focus on self, relax and go inward. Using the next couple of minutes to be aware of self, to be aware of how we feel without judgment, simply noticing always being kind to self. May we check in with self for eight breaths of silent meditation. Allowing that body to completely relax. Feeling one with the earth. Six more breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly wiggle our toes, 
rotating our ankles, maybe wiggling our hips, slowly awakening our bodies. As we use this top hand to push our bodies out of our fetal poles, allowing our bodies to come into a seated pose, any seated pose that feels good for you. I am gonna come into a cow face, cow face legs anyway. May you find any easy seat that feels good for you. As we are simply grounding and rooting our bodies, maybe taking a nice breath in, exhale. Relaxing those shoulder blades downward away from the ears. Spinal cord is nice and elongated here. Ensuring that our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we are gazed down, maybe our eyes are closed. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Using this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice self-care, prenatal care with you here today for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light you are. Namaste.